It's Jim's 69th birthday today, and I'm in bed with an awful cold. I've been in bed with this cold for about three days now, and I never get sick. I haven't had a cold in about 10 years, but I'm miserable today. And hopefully this will be my last cold for another 10 years. Seriously, I don't think I've had a cold for at least 10 years, maybe 15 years. I just don't get sick. I think it's because of my allergies, because I do have such horrible allergy attacks. I think my immune system is just way out of whack. It just attacks the pollen and just goes crazy. And I think it's maybe made by my immune system super, super strong. Or it's definitely crazy. I mean, it just is so way over the top for what needs to happen with, you know, to get rid of my allergy, to get rid of any pollen that I might have breathed in. But I mean, it's just, it's debilitating. It's almost like a cold every year when I get, a couple times a year when I get it. But it's not really cold. It's just allergies. But I think this is a little bit more than just allergies. I'm actually a lot better today than I have been for the last few days. But as soon as I get up out of bed, my nose just starts flowing. I mean, not just dripping or running, but flowing like a fire hydrant. Now, that's typical of my allergies. I get allergy attacks, and a couple of times a year, I'll get them so bad that my nose just flows like a fire hydrant for just day after day, usually a couple of days. But... So I, I thought that this was just an allergy attack, but it's also then gone into my lungs and become what feels like a chest cold. I have just been coughing and hacking. As long as I'm laying down, I don't feel too bad, but as soon as I stand up or sit up, I just start coughing uncontrollably. I've been taking cough medicine, but that never seems to really work for me. I don't know about you guys, but cough medicine's never really done much. But I do take it anyway, just in case. But And right now, I can hear myself, and I sound really good. I could hardly talk for the last two days. I just sounded like a really, really hoarse frog, and if I could even speak at all. I'm hoping that by tomorrow I can get out of bed, and I'll be feeling a lot better. I'm just going to stay in bed for most of today. Fortunately... <coughs> Fortunately, when my brother Robert was here, right after Thanksgiving, we celebrated Jim's birthday by going to Las Casuelas, his favorite Mexican restaurant in downtown Palm Springs, and that's where we go every year for his birthday. That's the only thing he really likes for his birthday. And when Robert is here, he always likes to go at least once as well. He, he can't get good Mexican food in Thailand, where he lives now. So the three of us went and had you know, just a simple, quiet, nice, early birthday. I asked Jim what he wanted to do for his 70th birthday, since mine was a big celebration. Neither of us really celebrate birthdays anymore very much, but <coughs> or do anything special for them. For us, they're just it's just another day, really. But certain milestones, like your 70th, I mean, I think you have to at least have a party or something to celebrate your 70th birthday. And he said, no, please don't do anything. I don't want anything for my 70th birthday next year. But my daughter Marcia had a good idea of something we could do for him to celebrate that I think he will actually like. It won't be over the top or too much to, since he really doesn't want a birthday, a 70th birthday, but we have to do something. I mean, that's a pretty big milestone. And I think we have something fun planned. So, <coughs> so if I'm able to get out of bed today and get to my computer and do a little bit of editing, I'll put together a little birthday video for Jim. I am feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a, a million times better than I've felt over the past few days. So even though it may not completely sound like it, my voice sounds a lot better. I'm not coughing as much. And my nose, at least while I'm laying here, laying down, my nose is not just flowing like a waterfall. I, I think I must get very dehydrated. I lost, I think, a couple of pounds just in water. And so I need to really get hydrated and drink some more water. I definitely need to drink more water because I'm losing so much by blowing my nose just pretty much constantly. I Thank you. All right, happy birthday, Jim. Yeah. All I'm right, happy. so how does it feel to be in your last year of your 60s? You have one year left. 
before you join me in the 70s club. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert has one year left in the 50s uh, Six club. months. Six months. Oh, six months left, and then you'll be in the... I'll uh, uh, be 60s. The 60s, right. yeah, the 60s club. Yeah. Boy, you guys are catching up with me. Boy, I tell you. Five more years to Medicare. Five year, more years it's to Medicare. still there. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. <laughs> well, he, he lives in Thailand now, so none of that matters anyway. A friend of mine who has something similar to this, our neighbor Jeff, who I walk with every day, or I, I was before Thanksgiving, and I just haven't had a chance to walk in the past week at all, which is also very rare for me. But he he had something like this, and I don't think I got it from him because I, I haven't seen him in a week and a half, I think. But my brother Robert also came to town. He had a bit of a cold. We weren't sure if it was just severe allergies or not. And I suppose this could just be a really severe allergy attack. I mean, I've, I get them pretty pretty badly a couple of times a year, especially this time of year, fall, around Thanksgiving is the worst for me. I always get really, really bad allergies, but I never, never remember having them so bad that it turns into a chest cold and a cough. And I mean, if you could have heard me coughing last night, I mean, I felt like I was coughing up a lung or two. And it was like that all night long before I went to bed. I don't know what it is about just laying down in bed. It <coughs> Yeah, it really helps with the cough and with the with the runny nose. So what I started to say, I'm kind of delirious, but what I started to say was he, Jeff has had his cough for like weeks now, and I guess he got it, he's a teacher, and he got it at school, and he said everyone who has it there, they've all had the cough for like a month or two. So my cough may not go away right away, but we'll see. I'm so glad that I got, especially after last night, I felt so bad last night and I really thought maybe I was getting something really, really serious. My lungs were hurting so badly and when I coughed, my kidneys were aching and, and hurting. I was coughing, I mean, just violently for hours and hours and hours. And that's why I think today I'm, I'm definitely on the mend. But I remember thinking last night that I was so happy that I was really glad that I had my pneumonia shot because it felt like I had pneumonia. And But I had my pneumonia shot just a month or so ago, my updated COVID shot at the same time. I got my flu shot this year. So I've had all of my shots. I know there's this new thing called RSV. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that before, except now. You know, every other commercial is for, on TV is for RSV. So anyway, I haven't had a shot for that, so I may have to go get that next. So I guess in a way, this is maybe my gift to Jim, is to be sick in bed where there's no way that I can take him out and force him to do anything fun. <laughs> so I'm sure he's not happy that I'm sick, but he's probably happy that I'm not able to to get up and about and to drag him out of the house to do something fun today or tonight. But next year, hopefully next year, I'll be able to at least have a little bit of a party for him. <coughs> I guess it won't be a surprise party since he's going to see this video, but I think he'll like it. It won't be too over the top for him, but I think it's something he'll really like. So anyway, happy birthday, Jim. Enjoy the last year of your 60th decade. Oh, to be 69 again, right? So I'm going to go back to bed for at least a couple of hours and I'm going to go take some more cough syrup and drink a ton of water so I don't completely get dehydrated and have to deal with that. So anyway, I hope all of you avoid colds this holiday season and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.